Hi guys, Hi. how are you? I hope everyone is doing well. So today we are going to be filming for you guys a get ready with us, kind of answering some of your questions, assumptions, and basically just get ready for the day. If you want to see how we created these looks, then please keep on watching. We are going to get ready. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram to send in some of your assumptions. So I'm going to go through them answer some of your assumptions and just get ready for the day so some of them were crazy some of them a bit brutal some of them were like rude <laughs> yeah literally plain rude I, I said make it juicy i didn't say go rude. in but um okay that's fine right i went into we well we both went into harrods over the weekend and i picked up some ordinary stuff by the way i didn't know harrods sell ordinary which is kind of cool um, and I picked up two things so the face oil and the moisturizer apparently the face oil is good for oily skin Which kind of I need to tackle it's like a serum and then the moisturizer is just a brightening serum. So let's go I don't know when I came when I come back from London My skin is always so dehydrated because the pollution is so high in London Anyways, we thought we'd come here and just like just speak to you guys and just have like a really chilled kind of get ready because i feel like my videos are very like go 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 and we don't really i haven't filmed a really chill last video for so long so this one's back back again back again after god knows how long anyway so the moisturizer is on actually feels really nice on the skin did you get the same one no yours is that one for the oil production remember? oh yeah but this feels really good on the skin. skin i don't have oily skin but my t-zone gets really oily during the day like mine is combination but Feels nice on the skin. Five pounds fifty. Can't go wrong. So the first assumption is, oof, that one different. The first assumption is you don't get along with the rest of your sisters. Hmm. Okay. I love everyone. I get along with everyone. Yeah, right. I she actually so do. much. Ask any one of my sisters. They love me. Yeah. I mean, I guess what kind of. I wouldn't say we're like a tight-knit family, but I would say we get along all well. Like, we get along together, I suppose, to some extent. But I wouldn't say we're like... Like, I know some families, and like, from people I've spoken to, they're like super, super close to their family, and their family's everything to them, and like, ride or die out here. I mean, that's cute, but I wouldn't say we're like such a tight-knit family. We kind of all just do our own thing, which is... I think that the, the does thing it for is... Us. Everyone has their own life, yeah, so that's like, what it is. everyone's very, very busy. That's why it may seem that we're not very close, but we are. And on special occasions, we always go out, we'll see each other at least once a week for coffee yeah. dates. We are a very close family, but it just may not seem like that because a lot of our family, like especially our parents, they don't want to be on social media. So maybe we don't snap them as much as we do with each other, but that doesn't mean that we're not as close to them as we are, you know? But we're not a tight knit family. We're not like a lie though. So so close, but we are still close. I mean, we're like, yeah, we have days where like we all meet up and stuff. But like, yeah, we're close to some extent, but like not like tight, tight, tight. But like you said, everyone's busy in their own life. Everyone's doing their own thing. That's kind of how life is, to be honest. Like people just don't have time to see each other all the time nowadays. Like life is just so fast paced, and it's absolutely, it's absolutely fine. To be honest, like we're so busy ourselves, like. To actually find time in your schedule to meet up and go out and stuff like that can be quite challenging for everyone's different. Like everyone's lifestyle is different, isn't it, really? And obviously, because when you're working, you have to fit your schedule around somebody else's schedule. Mm. So that's another thing that we find perhaps difficult. But we do try to see each other like at least once a yeah, week. Yeah, like I will definitely see my parents like what every Friday, isn't it? Yeah, every Friday. And obviously, I live with my parents, so I see pretty much everyone. Right, what are you doing your eyebrows? So I just, oh by the way, let me just speak about what I did. So I just applied the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow pomade in soft brown. And I feel like that's the perfect shade for my eyebrows. Now I don't fill in my eyebrows all the time. I usually get it tinted. And it just makes life literally so much more easier. Like so straightforward. Well, for me. No. I don't oh. have assumptions, darling. The next assumption is, you guys are rich. Yeah. You no. Don't know. No. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not, honey. We are working class people. We go out, earn a living, work hard. So, I would say, no, we are not. We're definitely not rich. I wouldn't say we're rich. I say we work hard for our money. Yeah. Like, we're... Okay, the battery just died, so... 
we're back again hi um anyways yeah go on continue so i personally wouldn't say that we are rich we ain't rich rich hell no but we do work very very hard from morning to literally like 8 p.m sometimes um because we want the best for ourselves um so i feel like yeah we're hard work and doesn't mean we're rich i just feel like we work for our money and it does take time it does take effort sometimes you just got um, graft in it like graft in especially when you're young this is like a little advice for you guys if you're out young out there like graft as much as you can because later on in life you can enjoy the money that you've made and how hard you worked i think that's so important that's why i'm giving advice to you man because your man's a lot younger than me like just work your ass off now and then your future self can thank you for what you've done and you can live a comfortable life and you can get the things that you want like you know you gotta treat yourself if you work hard i think treat yourself as much as you can so to answer that assumption no honey we are definitely not rich we weren't born with a silver spoon at all definitely not like our parents told um taught us like if we want something work for it and that's kind of how it's always been and we can't bear in mind guys i don't think people know this but we come from a really big family there's like eight of us all together like um well with my mom and dad it's 10 but like siblings we are one of eight so picture that oh yeah guys i don't even know if this scarf suits me like i just popped it on but i feel like it makes my face i feel like my hair looks like an alien with the scarf on but i'm just gonna ignore that anyways we are moving on so eyebrows are more or less done if you guys are wondering where we're going we're just literally getting ready for the day i'm probably gonna go for a little stroll in the park because today the weather is literally insane it's so beautiful clear clear blue skies and it's been grim for the last couple of days so a little walk in the park a nice little autumn walk it's calling my name okay the next assumption is imzy which is her is getting married soon so i leave that to you to answer i'm not getting married soon mm -hmm. that's the real tea i don't know why you guys have assumptions of me oh my neck hurts anyway i don't know why you guys have assumptions of me i literally post quotes and photos i don't post anything much about my personal life or what i do or anything like that but yes if i was to get married soon you guys honest, would know you all would, about no you guys would be the last person to know oh would you not tell people i will tell people once i'm married because i don't believe in like you know the before and whatever Nazar. <laughs> and it's like you know the before or whatever like you can't get evil eye and so on yeah. um but no i am not thinking about getting married soon i'm very young inshallah when it happens it happens i'm not gonna stop it from happening because you know it's completely not the of allah um but yeah that's the answer to that sorry to break your hearts <laughs> Iman is not getting married soon but if it happens it happens it happens, it happens. god knows when, when it's the right time. time like it's so funny i was telling this to Iman but like this at this age of like basically her right now i got married and she was 20 i was married imagine how weird is that yeah. i was literally married at your age and now look at me like a bloody grandma Really. <sighs> just not for it guys I'm just not for it but look how good this foundation is it's super super high coverage even though it says lightweight she she's good she's high definition that's for sure like yesterday it's so funny we literally we made shepherd's pie yesterday and usually like when we meet i don't make shepherd's pie usually lasts for like two or three days since he man slept over we ate it all. We literally finished the whole like, and it was a big ass dish. I ain't gonna lie, you know. Like, if you guys saw it, you guys, whoa! Like you'd be like, that's like literally a family sized meal. It was massive, but we clocked it in one day. Well, we so. went on a walk, so obviously we were extra hungry. Well, I was anyway. <laughs> um, so we like we all had like two helpings each, literally. and it was just needed, and it was just so lovely. It was like the perfect meal after like a cold like evening walk when you come back in and it's literally freezing outside and it was raining literally when we were walking it was raining so much came back in it was like a nice hot shepherd's pie was waiting for us and it was literally perfection i should really make you guys like um, i should do like a recipe and show you guys how i make mine it's so simple and straightforward like it's different to the traditional yeah way, i'd say yeah definitely different um me and i are just like really quick easy dishes to be honest like we just can't be also sitting in the kitchen and cooking for hours it's, it's just not us like we would rather spend that time doing other things so 
I really need to show you guys. And if you guys are vegetarian or vegan, I've got you guys, I've got you guys sorted. Well, actually not vegan because the cheese is definitely not vegan. Um, but if you guys are vegetarian, then I've got you guys sorted because my recipes are vegetarian anyways. I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to literally press it in. That's where you're, we're different. I bake. Like, I break sometimes if I want, like, a full-on look. Do you know what I mean? But, like, sometimes I can't be bothered. So I'll just, like, press it in. All this makeup is not mine. It's Amina's. Yep. So I'm, like, trying to figure out how to use it. Literally. My makeup is very different to yours. What do you mean? Like, I use liquid um, contour. And my foundation... Is... I do have, like, a contour stick. I don't I use contour stick. I use, like, liquid. Oh, no. I don't use liquid. I guess you guys can see like the difference in um in terms of like my makeup steps team months because we we do our things completely different. Okay, the next assumption is really weird, but you um thought that you um that you severely wish you didn't have to wear the hijab. Stuff like to balik. We mm. love the hijab. No, the assumption is completely different um, completely wrong. Obviously, oh. we wear the hijab, we are proud hijabis. So that assumption is hell no, sister. Hell to the no. The at the end of the day i know a lot of influencers let's say yeah. have started to take it off that doesn't mean that we will we Not were everything. raised with a choice like we never had to be like oh yeah you have to wear the hijab yeah. it was like we wanted to especially for me like i looked up to, to my sisters growing up because i am the youngest and all of them wore the hijab so i started very young because i wanted to be like my sisters and like my mom um so yeah i wouldn't say that we would ever take it off i personally wouldn't no um, I'd honestly like wrong. literally feel naked if I went out without um without my hijab. I'd feel like I'm missing something. Something's not quite right. So no, I would never really like walk out and be like, yeah, I'm not wearing a hijab today. Like, I mean, everyone has struggles. I get that. In life, we do struggle, and sometimes it can be quite hard. But to say that I'm gonna fully walk out of the house without a hijab on, I don't think that's that's us, and never will be, inshallah. Um, and no, inshallah, we will never take our scarf off. We are not suffering with a hijab. Especially if you live like in a place like Leicester, like like we do. Like Leicester is very, very multicultural. Like majority of people here like are Muslims and they wear hijab. And you can wear hijab, abaya, everything. And you won't stand out like a sore thumb. So I, I guess it also depends on like where you live. Um, age difference. How many years difference is there between us? How old are you? 26, isn't it? Yeah. 27. 27 years then, isn't it? Sadly. But you're going to be 21 soon, so... Well, in January. Yeah, there is six years difference between me and Iman. So, yeah, I'm quite old. Even though a lot of people think that Iman's a lot older than me. <laughs> because I'm a little mature. Gassed, gassed. But, um, no. Unfortunately, I am older than her. Just an age, really. I think it's the fact that you're a lot taller. And... That's it. That's I'm not mature. I think hell I'm no, more hell mature no. Than no. Like she's no. As you guys seen. Um yeah. <laughs> you guys is Cat Von D palette. If you know, you know. Um old school. I love it. The literally the the bronzes are so pigmented and they suit everyone's skin tone. It's so beautiful. Okay, the next assumption is Iman is always with you because she's bored and lonely. <laughs> I'm actually never with I mean I just uh, recently that's this, so funny. This last month, um we've started to work together. So obviously we see each other a lot more. Um but other than that I'm usually like never with Emina. Mm, I would say we're with each other more than we're with our other sisters. Would you agree? Yeah, like obviously I do see you more, um, but it's not because oh raw. Not because Mine's oh. lonely. That's like, disrespectful. <laughs> like I have friends. I do go out a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's because she's lonely. Anything like that. I would just say because obviously right now with our situation, we're both working with each other, so we do see each other a lot more. And probably like from our snaps. I think it's like from our snaps. Like yeah. when we tag each other, a lot of people are like oh my god, you guys are always together. Like you guys, you guys haven't got friends. You know, a lot of people think like we don't have friends and we're just always with each other. Like I mean, we both have our separate friends, of course. But yes, we do spend a lot of... Wow, it's so hard to talk and do this at the same time. But yeah, we do have our own, like... What did I just say? We do have our own friends, but yes, we do spend a lot of time with each other because we do work with each other, so... She's practically moved in, you guys. Like, she has, like, breakfast, dinner, lunch with us. And sometimes I'm just like, I'm just not okay with it. Like, it's time Shut to leave. Thank up. you. Goodbye. Let's see you soon. See you guys. This Emina's actually a bully. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Send help. <laughs> 
Look who's there. Oh, my lashes came. Thank you. Come again. So yeah, to conclude, I'm not lonely. We just work together, darling. And like I said previously, certain parts, certain people in our family don't want to be videoed all the time. Yeah. And even friends of mine, they're like, oh yeah, like I prefer to stay low key. And obviously, as an influencer, you, I have followers that maybe my friends and stuff like that don't want to be on. So. A lot of our family, you guys, are very, very low key. They don't want to be on social media. They want, they don't want to be out there. So when we're with them, we don't really take our cameras out or you know take pictures or videos this and the other because they're not. They're just they're not, not okay like that, that, and it's fine. You know, not everyone wants to be out there on social media, and it's okay. We get that. Wow. All right, Peter, my highlighter, you guys. Look at the highlighter. Like it's, it's seen better days. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god, this highlight is so freaking cute. Look. Oh, I can't deal. Absolutely. No, I have that highlight as well. well. And it's so it breaks so easily. Why? Like the pigment like the pigment is literally insane. But then the way they made it is just the quality is not 10 10, you know. Don't know how I feel about it. But to be fair, I I've had this. I don't know how long you've had yours. I've had this for way over a year. Yeah, same. So I mean she's still going strong. Okay, you guys, so this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with us. It's pretty straightforward. Like, this is kind of our go-to makeup look. Absolutely love it. It's just nice. It's very cool. simple. Very, very simple. Quick. We're not very, like, we're not... We don't wear like tons of makeup, but this is our go-to look. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this assumption, then please give us a massive thumbs up. And if you guys want to see a part two then let us know. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a massive thumbs up. And we should see you guys really, really soon in our next video. Bye.